Hi everyone! In this video, we will show you how to manipulate private keys with My Zen Wallet. First, go to website zenpaperwallet.com. Choose single address. It will be generated by random movings of your mouse. Choose T address. Z addresses won't work with My Zen Wallet. Wallet is generated. Please save your public and private keys. Keep your private key safe because whoever controls it, controls your funds. Let's find it from our Coinomi wallet. The transaction is ongoing as we see it on the Coinomi wallet and on the block explorer. Now, let's go back to Zenpaper Wallet's website and check the balance of our address. Insert the private keys into Wallet Details and click on Check My Balance. We will see that the transaction is coming. Now, let's go to myzenwallet.io website. This is a Zen web wallet, a client-side wallet, very convenient for use. Paste your private key to unlock the access to your funds. Now, you can use other functions of MyZen Wallet, including Send. Here, we can see private keys for raw addresses and export them. Now, let's send some funds to our Swing Wallet. Copy your address, the public key, and populate all required fields on my Zen wallet. The Zen has sent, the transaction is confirmed in a few minutes. Also, you can obtain your string address private key by clicking on it, and then insert it on my Zen wallet. Now, let's see how to import the entire wallet.dat file. Wallet.dat file can be found in Zen folder inside of AppData folder. We will take the one from Swing Wallet. This is very convenient for you if you don't have time to synchronize your wallet, but it will return only T addresses. As you can see, all T addresses are imported and ready for use. We hope that you enjoyed the video and have a nice experience on my Zen Wallet.